Now there are lots and lots and lots of commands that we can use. And we have a couple uh, listed in your student guide, so get command Windows Defender that will show you a bunch of the commands that are out there. But I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this. Now I'm going to fire off my, uh, my uh, uh, PowerShell command prompt. I'm going to make this a little bit easier for us to see. So I'm going to go into my properties. We're going to go into our layouts. I'm going to actually, let me do my fonts first. So we'll do this in about a 24 font, which is big. I'm also going to change my text. Now I can't change all of the settings in here. So we're still going to see some funky colors. It just depends upon how Microsoft wants to see it. But I want to change my layout so that, and let me apply this. See how it's way too big and I have a scroll bar on the bottom here? Let me, uh, let me get my head out of the way. You don't really want to have a scroll bar on the bottom because you might have stuff that shows up. So we're going to change my layout size. And if you go into Will Panics, we have a, um, a class. It's our PowerShell class. Will Panic goes through all this uh, customization, shows you a lot more about PowerShell. Also in my book, which is uh, Mastering uh, Windows Server 2016, written by four authors, it's about a thousand pages, uh, comes out in the um, day after Christmas in uh, 2017. So, or is this 2016? I forget which year it is. Yeah, it is 2017. So, day after Christmas, it's available, thousand pages. I have a whole chapter that I wrote on PowerShell, which is kind of cool. So we'll go into my properties in here, and I want to change my layout. Um, let's go ahead and drop this window size to about, we'll do 95. So we'll say 95, and I'm also going to set my window size down here to 95. And then that got rid of my horizontal scrollies. I do like the vertical ones. You know what? I'm going to drop it down a little bit more. That way I have a better bar here so I can see it a little bit easier. So we'll bring up properties. I'll say layout, and we're going to drop this down to, I'm going to drop this down to 93. And we have that at 93, and then I'll say OK, and now I have a little bit better access to my scroll bar. But I have really big font. Maybe I want to change that a little bit. Maybe I want to drop my font down to 20. Sometimes it comes up with a weird artifacting. No, that's OK. So that's OK right there. Um, and then, in fact, I'm going to make it a little bit wider. Ah, what the heck. We'll play around with the size here. So we'll say layout. Let's do this at about 95. Maybe this at 95 so I don't have a scroll bar. Ah, good enough. All right, now what I want to show you is there's lots and lots of commands that we can do with Windows Defender. So I'm going to say get command. So I'll say get command, and I'm going to say uh, it's for a specific module. That's how PowerShell works. We have a variety of modules. So I'll say module. Which module are we looking for? We're looking for Defender. So we grab the Defender module, and I'm going to pipe this into a select. I only want to select certain commands. So I'll say select S-E-L-E-C-T, and we'll say OB, put a hyphen in there. Select object, and what I'm looking for is the property. And I'm looking for just the name of the command. So I'll say name. And then we're going to put this into a format wide. And we're going to do uh, columns, C-O-L. I'll say columns. And we'll do it in two columns. So this shows me all of the PowerShell commands that we have for Windows Defender. We have MP preferences, threat catalogs, uh, DOS scans. That's our offline scan that we can do. Um, I can do get my statics, uh, status, look at my threats, threat detection. But what I do is I want to do a start MP scan. Now, um, when you go through and look at these, there's different help files. And when you first install Windows Server 2016, your help files are going to not be uh, installed by default. So if you're running this as an administrator, which you can see I am, I can go in and I can say update help. And it only lets you update help once every 24 hours. But if you want to say, uh, I don't care, I want to get the latest and greatest right now, I can do a force, and even force, F-O-R-C-E, <laughs> force. And even if you have updated this within 24 hours, it'll update it again. But I've already updated mine. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Now, one of the cool things that I can do is I can say, um, get help. And I can say name, and I can say S-T-A-R-T, 
MP scan. And this will give me the help for the MP scan, which shows me this kind of information. But if I have a multi-screen monitor, one of the cool things that I can do is I can do a hyphen show window. So let me get my head out of the way. Show window. And what this does, it'll pop up a separate window that gives me the same information. However, now it has all the parameters, all the various settings associated with that parameter, and I can even go in and look at settings. So it'll show me which specific help settings that I want to have, synopsis, outputs, notes, examples, descriptions, all that kind of good stuff in there. So it'll go through and it'll show me, hey, these are the various options that we have. Um, including the remarks. I can show me how to download the help files and download the updates. But this allows me to go in and do those particular scans.